What is up, everybody? It's your boy Chris Cage coming at you two times, and it's time now for Hot Wheels All Out. As with all Hot Wheels All Out races, they're always sponsored by the Sunflower Company, the only small business gift shop that you'll be that's ran by my bestie to where you'll be able to find sunflower themed items and non sunflower themed items. After a great performance by Fantasy Cars, now it's time for the real ones to get on the track. Realistic Cars in Block F are going to be racing today. I'd like to take this time to give out a big shout out to everybody who is watching the live premiere of this race. Just note that at any time during the race, you can comment in, in, in the live chat if you want to. Or if you're watching on replay, I'd also like to uh, appreciate or say thank you for uh, tuning in as well. Hope or hope you like this race in general. There ain't really that much to say here except for the fact that even though I'm filming this on the 11th of July, got a lot of cool castings coming my way, including showcase videos on the 18th and 25th of July that should be up already, which or or which include the Halloween. Uh, or the new Halloween set is going to be reviewed pretty soon in the quarter mile finals. Yes, those cars, including one main event car that you'll see in a later all out video. And with that in mind, it's time now to begin Hot Wheels All Out Realistic Cars in Block F as a race as we kick things off with round number one. It's round number one, guys, and you know what that means. It's time to hear those famous words from our famous finish line. Hot Wheels Racers, take your lane! Well, it is famous because it came with the damn thing. So here we go. First, heat the cars up, and we're ready to go racing. Winner! Lane Forgot to mention, there was an immediate random selection here with two Charger 500s in the heat. But this red and black one is going to get the win here in lane one. Winner, lane three. We're going to lane three for your winner, and it's the 2009 Nissan GTR. We're going to lane four for your winner, and it's this Mercedes SLK. Winner, lane one. Your winner in lane one goes to this Star Wars car ship called the Slave One. In lane two, your winner is a 68 Shelby GT500. Winner, lane three. We're going to lane three for the 2010 Danica Patrick Chevy Impala. Your winner in lane three is a 71 Porsche 911. Wow. Winner, lane one. Your winner in lane one is the Ford GT90. Winner, lane five. Your winner in lane five is the Ferrari California. We're going to lane two for your winner, and it is the Datsun 620. We got a few blue cars here in this race. Let's see who will win it. Winner, lane three. We're going to lane three for your winner, and it is a Nissan Custom Z in this version of blue. Winner, lane one. 
got the Mishibishi Evo in lane one, getting the win. Wow, the, I thought the big rig was going to get it. But the Firebird Funny Car, the, the first version, has gotten the win. That was a shocker. I think this is the GRX. Let me see. Yep, the GRX from Speed Racer gets the win. Winner is the 2005 Corvette in lane one. Winner, lane two. Your winner in lane two is the 14 Corvette Stingray with the 60th anniversary of Burby a livery on it. Get the 7 Chevy Tahoe with light bar on it, getting the win. Winner, lane one. Your winner in lane one is Roger Dodger. Winner, lane one. Your winner in lane one is this 11 Corvette Grand Sports. We gotta go to lane one again for for our winner, and it is the custom '67 Pontiac Firebird that gets the win. Winner, lane three. Got the Ferrari F430, or no Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Your winner in lane one is the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Winner, lane four. The Corvette Sting or yeah, Corvette Stingray in lane four has gotten the win. Once again, we find ourselves back in lane number one for another winner, and it is a Renault Sport RS. Winner, lane four. The winner in lane four is the Isuzu V-Cross. I thought it was lane two for a second. Lane five this time? All right. Winner is the 2011 Camaro, which ironically, as of this year, is 10 years old. We're getting old, guys. Winner, lane three. The winner in lane three is the BMW 2002. He left everybody He left everybody in the dust with that run right there. It is the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Winner. It was a battle of the Chevys on the left side there. But your winner is yet another Corvette Stingray. The winner is the 61 Impala in lane three. Winner, lane four. The winner in lane four is the Porsche Carrera GT. got the 68 Pontiac Firebird 400, I think, I don't know what the hell this is, 67 Pontiac Firebird 400, winning in lane 6. Winner, we, 
got a Zaymac car winning this time in lane three. And it's the 67 or 68. I can't get these years right. 67 Ford Mustang GT with the win. Your winner of lane one is the Jaguar D-Type. Volkswagen Type 181, or as some people may call it, the Volkswagen Thing, has gotten a win in lane one. Winner in lane one is the Corvette Grand Sport. Winner, lane four. We're going to lane four for your winner here today, and it is a Corvette C6R. Your winner in lane five is, I believe, the 70 Monte Carlo from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Winner, lane one. Huge shocker of a winner today in lane one. It is the custom 62 Chevy. Surprised a lead machine was able to race on that thing, but Speed Racer Mach 5 may have another chance to become a winner as he wins in lane one. Winner, lane four. Your winner in lane four is the GM Chevrolet. Looks like it might be a race team edition. Your winner is a Datsun 240Z in lane four. Your winner in lane four, a huge shocker, is the, what is this, Acura, what is this? Acura HSC Concept. Anyone could have won that one, and your winner in lane one is the 90 Acura NSX. He gets kicked out of the track. He's like, F you, car. Winner is, what is this car called? The U-Wing. Winner in lane three is the 71 Dodge Demon. Winner, lane three. The winner in lane three, and he's spinning his wheels because he's excited here. It is the tuned Toyota Supra. Your winner in lane four is the eight Ford Focus. Winner, lane two. Chrysler Pronto. I don't know why that keeps happening when I do when I say the car's name. Chrysler Pronto gets the win. Second to the last race. Another Tune car wins this time, and it is the Tune 360 Modena. Here is your final six. Time to see who will move on to the next round. Oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! In lane three, the 180SX Type X beats out a former Hot Wheels all-out winner in the gray Tesla Model X, giving it a shock win. That I was not expecting. I thought this guy was gonna get the win, but as always, expect the unexpected. Here are all the cars that are moving on to round number two. After that shock victory, 
man, was not expecting that to happen at all, period. But it is what it is. Here we see the Mach 5 in here too. He might have a chance this time. But he got a lot of fast guys around here to contend with, including one shocker of a win for a casting itself, the 180SX Type X. And just like that, round number one is in the books, and now it's time to begin round number two right about now. Round two, everybody, and here's your first heat. Winner, We're going to lane five, and the custom 67 Pontiac Firebird gets the win. Winner, your winner in lane one is the Volkswagen Thing. And the Mach 5 is not going to get a chance this time around, but your winner is the Ferrari California. Your winner, winner in lane 1 is the Renault Sport RS. Roger Dodger matched the speed there, but the winner is the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Your winner in lane five is the Chrysler Pronto. Porsche Courier GT in lane four has done it. Second to the last race. The winner, winner in lane one is the BMW 2002. Last but not least, your final three. Time to see who will move on to the finals. Winner, lane two. Datsun 240Z has done it. And just like that, we are down to the finals. Final nine cars right here. And they're all cars actually, so we are definitely gonna get a car that's winning. With nine cars locked in for the finals, it's time for the finals to begin right about now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the finals and here is your first set of six. It's time to see who will compete against whom in the gauntlet. It could have gotten to anybody here. But the eventual winner is the Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird in lane number one. All right, which one of these three will join the Firebird? Time to see who will make it into the gauntlet. Winner, lane one. Winner in lane one is the Porsche Courier GT, an all black race is what we got for y'all to hear. For, for y'all today. We got ourselves a classic custom muscle and we have a black supercar. One of these two is going to become the Hot Wheels All Out Realistic Cars Block F winner as it's time now to begin the gauntlet. On the left side, we have the custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. On the right side, we have the Porsche Courier GT. One of these two is going to win it, and one is going to go home. Who will it be? Time for the gauntlet to begin. Winner, it was evenly matched there, but the Firebird has gotten the first victory. He has to win one more in order to win it. Will we have an all-out winner, or will we have a split race? And we are forced into a split. Time to put him in close corners racing, side by side. Anything is bound to happen where they're close together. 
Let's continue the gauntlet. Man, that was close. Firebird got the win. All right, let's see who wins this. I have a feeling we might be in for some more racing. Winner, right at the very last second, that Porsche got the win. We are forced into a second split, and now it's time to begin the advantage round. First one of two wins, wins all out. Advantage, Firebird. Winner, lane one. Advantage, Pereira GT. Winner, lane two. Advantage, Firebird. Advantage Carrera GT. Almost thought there was a winner there, but no, it still continues. Winner, lane three. Advantage Firebird. Oh man, I thought the Firebird got it. He didn't. Advantage Carrera GT. And the Firebird didn't have a good start there. So just like that, we have ourselves a winner. And your winner of Hot Wheels All Out Realistic Cars in Block F is the Porsche Carrera GT. What a fast car, what an amazing car, and what a battle between him and the Firebird. It was neck and neck and neck and neck and neck until he get, got to lanes four and five where the Carrera GT just took off like a rocket and left that poor old Firebird behind. And that will do it for today's Hot Wheels All Out Race. Big shout outs to the Porsche career for getting the win. Thank you all for tuning in. And next time that we will see you, we will be in Block G. That will do it for today's uh, wait or, or race. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure to subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy Chris Cage. I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next race.